Today on Engineering Newswire, we're expanding the internet of things with the Wonder Bar, getting mustache rides from robots, and piloting robots to fight the kaiju in the future. European startup Relayers Wunderbar is a sensor board that makes it easy for consumers to create Internet of Things connected apps using nothing more than pure imagination. Why it looks like something that just left Wonka's chocolate factory, I'm still trying to figure it out. No, I want one of those! But the Relayer platform allows app developers to quickly access data from the physical world with its easy to use SDKs and REST API, with the added bonus of not learning anything about hardware. The Wunderbar features the newest Bluetooth low energy beacon, Wi-Fi, six smart modules, and an infrared transmitter. Libraries and tutorials are provided for an easy to use setup and users can start developing apps with Xcode, Android SDK, or text editor with command line compliers. Hopefully there are no reports of consumers turning into giant blueberries or falling down a trash chute for golden eggs. But beware the Oompa Loompas, or is it Oompa Loompai? Because they're always watching. Oompa Doompa Dee Da If you're not spoiled then you will go far You will live in happiness too Like the Oompa Loompa Loompa Dee Doo Jonathan Tippett No relation to the visual effects master behind the walkers in Star Wars and the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park Phil Tippett Though he is a spokesman Jonathan Tippett is creating what he has dubbed the anti-robot. In simpler terms, he's building our first step toward real-world Jaegers. Always good to be one step ahead of the alien invasion. Using SolidWorks software, the anti-robot, known as Prosthesis, uses a direct human interface for control. No autonomy or computer controls, only the pilot's movements manipulate the robot. Let's be clear, there are no algorithms or background control systems aiding the pilot. The pilot's arms, locked into the frame with inflatable bladders, control the outer legs, while their legs control the inner. Tippett explains that this project will explore the physical mastery and harmony between human and machine. I just think it's freaking cool. This five meter tall, five meter wide robot, or suit, is entirely powered by a custom made lithium ion power plant. So it's not only the future of wicked cool off-road adventures, it's also environmentally friendly. Tippett and his team have already established a test bed for the leg, and they are ready to move to the construction phase. So they've launched an Indiegogo campaign to speed up the process. With eight days left, they are well on their way to making the anti-robot a reality. But let's call it what it is. That thing is a first generation Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> awesome. Nanotechnology has given us e skin, e eyes, and now the latest breakthrough e whiskers. Berkeley Lab researchers have created tactile sensors from composite films of carbon nanotubes and silver nanoparticles, just like the highly sensitive whiskers of cats. Shameless cat montage! That one's for the wife. Post that on Facebook. The new e-whiskers respond to pressure as slight as a single pascal, about the pressure exerted on the table surface by a dollar bill. The new tech could soon give robots the increased abilities to see and feel their surrounding environment. Essentially, Berkeley built a truly smart stash for modern robotics. The electronic whiskers consist of high aspect ratio elastic fibers coated with conductive composite films of nanotubes and nanoparticles. In tests, the whiskers were 10 times more sensitive to pressure than all previously reported capacitive or resistive pressure sensors. You hear that? Sounds like 10 times the mustache ride. Who wants a mustache ride? 
As proof of concept, researchers used e-whiskers to demonstrate highly accurate 2D and 3D mapping of wind flow. In future applications, they could be used to mediate tactile sensing for the spatial mapping of nearby objects or lead to new wearable sensors that measure your heartbeat and pulse. I'm not all that sure where the direction of the technology is heading, but I can assure you that it's promising. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Chris Fox and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Hehehehe. <laughs>